You're watching KITV4 Island News. Iolani Palace was finished being built in 1882. It was the official residence of the Hawaiian monarchs and the site of the kingdom's overthrow. Learning and sharing its history is part of why some palace volunteers tell KITV4's Diana Ko they're aging well. And these are some of the symbols of Hawaiian royalty, as you see. Ahead of For 26 us. years, Isaac Unukahi Kala Sagario has been sharing his love for Iolani Palace with people from around the islands and the world. People need to know about the significance of Iolani Palace because it's been noted many times. So. This is actually the only official residence of royalty in the United States. He started working here in 1995 and after 26 years can regale visitors with all kinds of facts. Because the Iolani Palace was the first palace in the world uh, that we know of on record that was electrified. And now in addition to that, um, the king also had a telephone system installed here. He says he likes volunteering here because it brings him closer to his Hawaiian ancestry. My great-grandparents were born during that time, and they were part of the, they lived during the time of the monarchy, so that is a very emotional part of, of, of my journey here. Other volunteers say they love walking through history. Every single time I walk up those stairs, um, it's, it's, it's the ultimate of chicken skin because I realize what steps I'm walking in. And for both men, purpose and people make the job worthwhile. The thing I love the most, though, and, uh, is the people who come to visit. Interacting with people, I think, is very, very important, especially as we start to age as seniors. And, and to be outside and to be able to contribute to the community. The palace has 35 volunteers now, but before COVID, there were 50. Palace is always recruiting for more volunteers. Levinson urges people to apply. Get off the couch and go try it. If you don't like it, you can always quit. Diana Ko, KITV4 Island News.